one of the most instantly recognisable buildings on the planet. The Sydney Opera House is considered a masterpiece of 20th century architecture. In the 1940s, Sydney was at a point where it needed a larger and more dedicated venue to hold opera, dance and other performances. By the mid-50s, it was just a question of who would be the architect and what kind of design would it take. An international design competition was held and architects from around 30 countries sent in their designs. From 230 plus entries, an architect from Denmark called Jörn Ertsen was chosen and awarded £5,000 as well as architecture's highest honour. The spot where the opera house was built is very fitting because it used to be a rocky outcropping overlooking the harbour which was part of a larger area where early Aboriginal people once entertained themselves through dance and storytelling. Building started in 1959 and was expected to last only four years. It ended up taking 14 years to complete and costing $102 million instead of the $7 million they originally thought it would cost. During mid-construction, the architect had to quit. He had been forced to start building before his final designs were even ready. No geometrical shape like this had ever been built and it was becoming an engineering nightmare. He wanted nothing but perfection for this building. But as with most construction projects, when building starts, changes and compromises have to be made. He ultimately had no choice but to leave and a team of Australian architects took over. The Sydney Opera House was designed to be beautiful from every direction, even from above. Over a million glazed ceramic tiles cover the sails, glistening like snow when seen from different angles as you move around it. It's 20 stories high, or 65 meters but finding the right geometrical form for the sails was extremely difficult. Early computers were used for difficult calculations, but as the story goes, the solution came when Ertzen was peeling an orange. A sphere is a very strong shape, and Ertzen realized he could get all the sail shapes from just one sphere, revolutionizing architecture in the process. In 1973, at the opening ceremony, Queen Elizabeth II officially opened the Opera House. And in 2007, it was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Although the name implies opera, it's actually a multi-purpose venue. It can be divided into six main areas. The concert hall is the largest and can seat 4,700, followed next in size by the Joan Sutherland Theatre. There's also a studio, a drama theatre, a playhouse, and a smaller space called the Ertzen Room, named after the architect. And if you get hungry, there are restaurants as well. Over the years, many famous people have performed here, such as Sammy Davis Jr., Ella Fitzgerald, Joan Sutherland, Sting, Bob Dylan, and Prince. Arnold Schwarzenegger won the Mr. Olympia title here too. Speeches by Pope John Paul II and Nelson Mandela were also given here, just to mention a few. This year, 2023, in October, will be the 50th anniversary since it opened, and a 10-year, $300 million renovation program has just finished, just in time for the half-century celebrations to begin. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe for more.